Yeah, she got to go for that. Play that shit. You mad because this perfume was cheap. No, because it's cheap perfume, motherfucker. Nobody want to smell like that shit. And you don't know what it is. Yeah, there can be some other shit and it can fall out like a fucking old lady, man. Some niggas is put here just to fuck you up. And that's why you gotta get it. And that's why God I put some niggas on earth that you want to kill. Hey, we don't talk. <laughs> and if you ever come across them, you gotta make a decision. Right. It's either kill this nigga or I can just go and fuck him with But that's what the bigger you But that shit change you as a person, man. Every nigga I know that can kill somebody, they hit, but they, they step away from time to time. Right. Nigga, we all grew up around killers. Yep. Yep. Not right. people that have killed a motherfucker. <laughs> That's what the fuck they, they did. did. Like, like, they were known killers. Your, your mama world. knew they was killers. <laughs> yep. The people I'm down the, the street. Like, you don't know James? James be killing motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> don't fuck house with house James. Hey, no, don't be really. out there fucking with Mr. James. Yeah. He kills he motherfuckers. <laughs> right now. When he, he killed them people up there in that house. They don't know who. They just upstate exactly. that. Exactly. Them people. Them people. <laughs> family. And I'm glad I'm saying with it. Just don't even get me, though. Don't let them get you. Nigga, what? Nigga. There's some motherfuckers I'm out here that's just you. here to destroy you. I'm 19 years old, so. Thank you, girl. What? On them minus? Nigga, on them zannies? Nigga. I ain't never thought about it for one time. It ain't one motherfucker I ever spoke on. Hated. Hated. I would say that. I only hated one. I can only truly say I only hated one. Yeah, one, one, one. one. I'm talking about hate. Like, I can't. Still I to this want, day? No, I'm just saying at that time in my oh, life okay. before I understood what that did to you as a person and walk around with hate in your heart. Right. You want to take this shit apart? Right. right, because it's not even worth it. Right. The things that made me dislike this person was, was just, you know, I guess it was just at that time, it was important. Right. Because really when you you know when you make transitions in life and you grow up, okay. this your world. Your right. fifteen year old world ain't your sixteen year old world, and your twenty year old world right. ain't you ain't even grown yet. It, it, it won't even touch you right now because right. you grown. I well, laughed at some shit like that. Right the bad day. But see, it's the, that type of shit was like this is important to me, and this is what in your mind I would do this for right. certain things over. I know what's going on. But nigga, it ain't never after after that. You know, going to the point of like the strongest hate and dislike of a motherfucker, I ain't never felt like that again because I was like, fuck that. I don't care enough about a motherfucker to hate me. Right, right. I, I like me not even acknowledging your presence of being is the, is the worst the form of hate because it don't matter what you do, you you cannot get my attention. Right. And that's that's what really drives a motherfucker to hate you. Because right. you, can't, you can't acknowledge every motherfucker who say something fucked up. And that's the that's what make them keep going because they know you can't reach them. It don't be people in your motherfucking reach calling you a puss ass nigga or a bitch or none of that. They know who to respect and they know who to pull that shit on. You can tell who fucked up just by what they attract and what they. And plus the about. energy. You see what right. I'm saying? That's why I say it's, it's on us to be able to uh to to diffuse the situation because we already know we been in that just like how you said you already been in that stage and that point so you already know what's going on. Right. You know what happened. You like when you feel this uh, particular energy that is kind of like familiar, right. you know what I'm saying? Similar to this situation, you like, right. I already know what type of person you is. 
Right. And I already know how you gonna make me feel, so I'm gonna go this way because that ain't even my. Right. Because <laughs> like I know me. the type of bullshit you want. You ever seen a motherfucker clear a room out? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Don't nobody like him. Ain't got nothing anti you hear talking about. It that, shut the fuck up. <laughs> them against the world. Everything in the world that happened to them. Uh, Everything but the world happens, happens to them. The world happens They're to victim. them. Yeah. They're victim. They're victimized. They're victimized. They're victimized. All that victimized they're shit. Victim. Let me tell you something in the screen. I'm not giving a fuck. What can you no. do? How you gonna come back? Right there in that moment, they gonna be out of here. You know what I mean? I'm gonna show you some empathy. But tomorrow, my nigga, get over you got to get over that, get y'all. Over we'll show you some empathy, but right we can't now. give you no sympathy. You did. Hey. I can That's empathize, but I can't sympathize. That's you did what I'm saying? You see how we just created? Man, come on. <laughs> I can't give you no fucking sympathy. Come on, I don't, I don't no. take sympathy. Hell no. Oh, uh, that's too close. No, all me, man. I don't got you. Let me tell you something. When I got stabbed, bro, when I realized nobody gave a fuck, I'm talking about walking around sad. I can't. Hurt. I'm oh, hurt, bitch. This shit hurt. You hear me? Mm. Oh my, yeah. They like, damn, what happened to you? Man, nigga, no call the line back. Damn. Hell no. Nah. You don't know about that weed and shit? <laughs> I can't even open the door get in the car, John. Nigga, leave you outside. Man, I don't like it. Well, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Oh, nah. Shut that shit up. Nigga, well, that's why I be having to walk and do all that shit. I'm fucked up when it comes to shit like what? that. I'm wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Just tell me what we're going to do. Fondling Breast. That's the name of my new album. <laughs> Fondling breast. Excuse me. I, I want to fondle your breast, girl. I, I want to touch your boobs. Get some H2O in me. I want to fondle your boobs, girl. I want to, want to.
<laughs> my ex wife came back. My ex wife came back. I'll be up there. He quit. He quit. <laughs> hey, me, me and Chico bought houses. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I ain't built it yet. I ain't built it yet. We'll celebrate that later. Yes, sir. <laughs> what else? <laughs> All right, bet. Joe got some new shoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Just did. All right, y'all. That's what I'm talking about. Craig ain't lost shit in three shows. <laughs> <laughs> Oklahoma, you know what it is, man. We thank each and every last one of y'all for making another classic 85 South show. Me and the brothers just got off stage. You already know what time it is. We love y'all, man. Nico. And that's the motherfucking thing for this show, man. We love y'all, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Black Wall Street, man. Thank y'all for what y'all did and setting the example for black people, man. Niggas need to learn about that. Niggas need to go and research that because it's possible. And we appreciate y'all for coming out and helping us build our Black Wall Street. We love y'all, Tulsa. Yeah. You ain't got to lie, Greg. You ain't got to lie.